Oh hey, thanks for tuning in to another video. This style is a fail. Okay, well this is an old braid out, but I definitely wash, deep condition, and style my hair into a flexi rod set. They don't look too bad, huh? But this whole style is a complete fail and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. If you want to know how I install and take down flexi rods, make sure you check out the links above and below. But if you also want to know the products that I used, when installing these rods, make sure that you also check out the description because I list them as well. Now, I only left these rods in for a day and as you can see, the ends don't look so crisp. I didn't use any gel whatsoever. It was just, I would say cream based. Um, this rod specifically was bomb. You can tell by my face. My hair was completely soft, I didn't have any frizz, and that bounce back is luscious. But I cannot say it was the same for every single rod set. Now, I wanted to achieve a heatless blowout, and I don't have any rollers. This is the only type of um, tool I would say I have. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna try to make it work. So after making sure that my hair was completely dry, and taking these rods out the only way for me to achieve it would be to comb out these curls before I use my white tooth comb I'm actually going to unravel just like so and I'm actually going to be running my fingers through it just to separate these curls but since my ends were a little frizzy I was already struggling but I said we're gonna push through so I use my white tube comb to just make sure that I get all of the curls out. Now this style was definitely inspired by Chelly's Curls. If you don't know who she is, um, I will link her video down below just so you can see the idea that I was kind of going for. Now, moving along, I just repeat the exact same process. Use my white tooth comb, my fingers to just comb out my curls. And I mean, it doesn't look as bad. I have more poofy areas than I thought I would and my hair is softer in some areas some areas it's not I say it's because of the leave-in I try to use just a cream base because I didn't want to have any hold whatsoever I just wanted soft hair and I wanted to be able to stretch it without a problem so this is just a full view of what my hair looks like it's okay <laughs> I'm my worst critic but anyway it's okay so I said you know what I'm going to use some bobby pins and wrap my hair up I used to do this all the time after visiting the salon and getting my hair done just to keep my hair nice and fresh I would always wrap my hair up if I didn't use some bobby pins I would definitely just use a stocking cap wrap my hair around and it would just be fresh the next day so that's pretty much what I'm doing right now making sure that my hair is nice and prepped so that I can wrap my hair up leave it wrapped for some time and then of course just achieve some amazing results oh man my hair looks crazy um let's what can I say let me see <laughs> Just looking at it, I was thinking like, man, this is not going to work out exactly. So I said, let's just grab a little hat. It's not a stocking cap. I didn't have one. Um, so <laughs> I'm just improvising and doing what I can at this point. So obviously, while I'm wrapping my hair around and removing the bobby pins that I did use in the beginning, and I'm just going to wrap my hair around, that's it. But, since most of my hair is all poofied out, and as you can see, I do have some flakes from the products, I'm just going to use my white tooth comb to just try to stretch my hair as much as possible and continue to wrap it. 
Now there is no need for me to wait until the next couple of clips so that you can see that this hairstyle is a fail. I'm telling you it's already a fail and you'll see that for yourself. But what I'm thinking of doing next time is just wrapping my hair up when it's completely wet and just waiting to see how it dries. I'll definitely have to keep my hair wrapped up for like two days um, but just to see how it dries because normally when I do slick back looks and I eventually remove the slick back, my hair is put in place, it's laid and everything. So I'm definitely going to be experimenting with that. Um, if you've ever tried anything like this before, let me know. This is an idea I had a very long time ago and Chelly's Curls definitely inspired me to try it out. But this is what my hair looks like after having the cap on for a couple of hours. It doesn't look as bad. I guess but I wanted my hair longer <laughs> and I didn't want to have so many curly waves and poofiness pop in so we will definitely keep trying and seeing what you know what happens next time but if you stayed and you watched this whole video thank you and I appreciate your support always